The ants and the bees. Ants and bees are nature's team to ensure that fruit plants can reproduce. Bees work in the air to fertilize flowers by pollinating them so that the fruit holding the seeds can form. Ants aerate the soil so that the seeds of fruit can take root and grow flowers for the bees to pollinate. More than 20,000 species of both ants and bees exist and they are found in every part of the world except the Antarctic. Their total biomass is approximately equal to the total biomass of the entire human race or about 20% of the terrestrial animal biomass. Like with man, the ants and the bees' success to thrive in so many environments has been attributed to their social organization. The ants are able to modify habitats and to exploit resources including the crops and buildings of man. This puts them in direct conflict with humans who also thrive by exploiting their environment. The bees, man's supplier of honey, are able to serve as the main pollinators of flowers including the crops man farms. Ants and bees are social insects that evolved around 120 million years ago to give rise to the flowering plants. They form colonies that range in size from a few dozen individuals to highly organized colonies which may occupy large territories and consist of tens of thousands of bees or millions of ants. Colonies consist of female queens, female workers, and male drones. Ant and bee colonies are societies that have division of labor, communication between individuals, and an ability to solve complex problems. Ants communicate using a trail of scent they leave behind on the ground. Bees communicate with a dance that specifies where to find faraway flowers that need to be pollinated. These parallels with human societies have long been an inspiration and subject of study. Female ants and bees, called workers, spend the first few days of their adult lives caring for the queen and the young. They then graduate to teaching young workers various skills like building, maintaining and defending their nest. Worker ants defend their nest by injecting or spraying chemicals like formic acid. Once old and expendable, worker ants take on the most dangerous work of looking for and bringing food back to the nest before they are eaten themselves. Winged female ants and bees, called virgin queens, spend their adult lives being cared for and prepared to be queens. They are selectively turned into queens by workers when the queen of the colony dies or the colony gets too big. Colonies with multiple queens sometimes split with one of the queens leaving the nest with a swarm of workers to find and to found a colony at a new site. The queen of the colony, like a mother of a family, lays her eggs. Using sperm she collected from her first and last mating, she selectively fertilizes or leaves unfertilized each of the eggs she lays. Unfertilized eggs develop into her sons, male drones who do nothing but eat and mate. Fertilized eggs become her daughters who, like Cinderella's, are destined to be workers with the possibility of one day becoming virgin queens. This depends on the care they receive from the other workers. Virgin queens get to make the nuptial flight to lose their virginity and become queens to form their own colony. Nuptial flight. Males are quickly converted into single-purpose sexual machines. Young virgin queens and males stay in their parent colony until conditions are right for the nuptial flight. The flight requires clear weather since rain is disruptive for flying. Different colonies of the same species often use environmental cues to synchronize the release of males and virgin queens so that they can mate with individuals from other nests, thus avoiding inbreeding. The actual takeoff from the colonies are also often synchronized as a protective measure to overwhelm predators. 
The males take flight before the virgin queens and find a common mating ground, for example, a landmark such as a pine tree to which other males in the area converge. The virgin queens follow the scent of the pheromone left behind by the horny males. The queens then release pheromones to attract the males, teasingly fleeing from them, allowing only the fastest and the fittest males to mate with them. Mating takes place during flight. One virgin queen will usually mate with several males, storing enough sperm in her abdomen to last a lifetime, during which time the sperm can be used to fertilize tens of millions of eggs. The males are built for the only purpose of inseminating the queen and can't even feed themselves for the few days of their lives. During the quick and violent mating, the male literally explodes his genitals into the genital chamber of the queen and quickly dies. The satisfied females then seek a suitable place to begin a colony and begin to lay and care for their eggs. They selectively fertilize eggs using saved sperm from their nuptial flight. Bees produce many products that are beneficial to man other than honey and beeswax. Royal jelly, a secretion from daughter worker bees, is used to feed the mother queen and the larvae destined to be virgin queens. Propolis is a resinous mixture that bees collect from tree buds and sap flows. It is used as a sealant for unwanted open spaces in the hive. Propolis is used for small gaps, while larger spaces are usually filled with beeswax. When a small animal finds its way into the hive and dies there, and if the bees are unable to carry it out, they seal the carcass in propolis, essentially mummifying it and making it odorless and harmless. While ants are thin and smooth as metal, bees are round and fuzzy. Bees have an electrostatic charge which holds pollen, the sperm of plants. Being much heavier than ants, and relatively much heavier than birds, bees fly more like helicopters than like planes. They flap their wings almost 250 times per second. All that fast flapping appears not to be so healthy. Bee colonies do not last so long. The workers live a few weeks or months and the queen lives three to four years. Drones usually die upon mating or are expelled from the hive before the winter. Ant colonies, on the other hand, can be long-lived. Although drones survive only a few weeks and the workers live only one to three years, the queen can live for up to 30 years. Ant and bee colonies are sometimes described as superorganisms because the insects operate as a unified entity, collectively working together to support the colony. In this way, each ant or bee can be seen as a specialized cell of an organism and the colony can be looked on as one organism. From a higher level, the colony can be regarded as a society with individual insects as specialized members of the society.